In this video, I wanna break down kind of a different way to run the quote unquote loop blitz out of the nickel 3-3 formation. This is uh, what I believe Astro was running in the Madden uh, in the Madden Challenge or in the Madden Bowl. Uh, so we're gonna talk about it today. If you guys wanna get my version of the full nickel 3-3 ebook, we have two different ebooks out on this formation. You can get it by joining the Patreon. That'll be linked down in the description for just 10 bucks. You're gonna get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. But what I wanted to do real quick was just spend a, a few minutes with you talking to you about this, this different style of running the loop blitz. And if you wanna run it out of man, you can run it out of man. If you wanna run it out of zone, you can also run it out of zone. So if you wanna run out of, um, out of man coverage um, or zone, really what you wanna do is you wanna turn auto flip off. That is the foundational principle uh, to running this defense. Now we're gonna come out in this play nickel blitz zero. So what we want is we want our nickel corner to be on the left side of the screen. That is super important. We want our nickel corner to be on the left side of the screen. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna guarantee edge pressure off of the left side of the screen. So the setup here, we're gonna come out. You see, this is what we have. Um, all you need to do is you're just going to press. You don't have to press, but when you do press, I would back off your outside cornerbacks. Uh, I think backed off man is definitely the way to go right now. And then what I would do to keep it super simple is just take this linebacker, move him over here, and blitz him, and then you're gonna QB contain, and you're gonna crash your line down, and then what I like to do is take this running back, and you can put him in any coverage you want. So let's say you let's say the you know let's say we want to do something like this, kind of just mix and match the coverage. But what you'll see here is we should get pressure on both edges, as you can see right there, super quick. Now the beauty of this blitz is you can, um, if you just shift your linebackers to the right and you use or this linebacker, let's say, now what you can do is you can do it all on, on autopilot basically without having to manually move people. So what you see is we've kind of kind of set up the same basic blitz. The difference now, and we also have that linebacker now shifted to the formational weight, which is that right side. And then what you'll see here is you can kind of get that loop blitz coming off the left and the right. So that's another little way that you can kind of do it. Um, so again, setup super simple. All we're doing is we're going to press so that our slot corner is down. Then I like to back it off. And then from here, it's kind of up to you how you want to structure it. Like what you can do is do this and then just stack this linebacker, right, like so. And now you just want to go crazy with adjustments, however you want to adjust it. So if you want the safety – on the crossman on the tight end, then maybe you could do a defense that looks like this, and then now you're gonna use the tight end. The big key with this, and what makes this defense so good, is the stacking of one of the linebackers. It doesn't even have to be both. Just one linebacker, if he's stacked properly, um, can make this thing really, really valuable. So you see here again, there's the pressure. You see how that loop just goes crazy, and it it can be, any. it can be, honestly, any of these linebackers, really. Um, but all you have to do, you could just, if you wanted to, honestly, you just bring this guy down. And then when you click to the right, you see how it clicks me on a tailor. Move him here. Done. And then I'm just going to, boom. And I'm set up fairly quickly. And we're running the loop off both edges. Now, part of the reason it's not working, I actually forgot. i got to sub out these D linemen. I'll show it to you with the faster D linemen. The faster D linemen you have, the better. Um, so you want to put your fast defensive linemen in. Um, so I'll put uh, I'll put Curse and Dware back in, and then Randall. But again, you could also do this out of zone. So I'll show you how to do it out of zone as well. So if you want to do it out of zone, like let's say you want to run more of a zone-based defense, I actually really like cover two invert. Um, but you want to do it out of Tampa too. This was a, been a great blitz of Madden for years. So all we're gonna do, I like to base align if I'm running out of Tampa too. Um, but you don't have to. Okay. So again, just press. And then just take this linebacker, blitz him. You're going to contain and then just slide this guy down. So as you can see, that's the setup. And then you should get the loop and the edge pressure super consistent. Now, why do you want the loop and the edge pressure, uh, whether it be out of man or zone? The primary reason, um, the primary reason that you want the loop pressure is because what you want to have with this is if they block a running back, now you've got a pretty good chance that somebody's going to get free or, or or they're going to get at least, at the very least, a quick disengage uh, is what you're really looking for, okay? 
And you could bring this guy, like, what I love about this this specific defense is you. it's a little bit easier to adjust out of when you're trying to uh, trying to make a ton of adjustments. If you just do this simple setup right here, you can oftentimes get double-edged pressure without a whole lot of effort. Um, so, again, it's all about trying to minimize the setup so that we can maximize our time to do the main thing on defense, which is adjust to our opponent. If we can adjust to our opponent well, we're going to have a lot of success on the defensive side of the ball. So that's how you run it. You can run it from man or zone. Um, if I was running this from uh, zone here real quick, you can run this out of LB Blitz too. So you can just, if you want to, you can run it out of LB Blitz. Again, you're just trying to move this guy just kind of off the outside shoulder of this defender. And then, you know, you can set your coverage up however you want it. So, but this is a really decent little blitz here. Super effective, super fast pressure. And really what that left side edge pressure does is it just kind of makes sure that if they do block their running back, now you've got somebody to help you get more pressure. If you want to learn how I like to run this defense, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is down in the description. That's where you'll get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description below and go check out the Patreon.